We're celebrating St. Patty's Day here at Nine on Your Side with some Irish dancers. The McGing Irish dancers are headed to the World Championship in Dublin, Ireland next month. Joining us now is their instructor, Annalise Nat. Annalise, thank you so Hi. much for joining us. Thanks for and having we us. We also have Colleen. Hannah and Katie joining us as well. <laughs> Ladies, you look beautiful. Thank you. And I almost wore the same thing. That would be <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> so tell us how excited you are about being part of this championship. Um, super excited. These girls have worked really hard. I've taught them since they were eight years old and they've been dancing since or for 11 years now. And tell us a little bit about traditional Irish dancing. What does it entail? Because people think about <laughs> clogging, but there's more to yeah. it than just so, that. So traditional Irish dancing, we can probably think of uh, River Dance or Lord of the Dance and tone it down a little bit, maybe not so showy. That's probably what these girls do. Ladies, how excited are you all? I mean, you've been practicing for hours and hours and you've been doing this since you were little, little babies. I'm really excited to go to Ireland. Like, it's such an honor to go. And yeah. what about you two? Yeah, I'm so excited. We've been working so hard since, like, December, so I hope our hard work hard work will pay off. And the beautiful one down here wearing It should be a really good opportunity. You're I'm very, really very excited. excited. Oh, yep. I'm so happy for you guys. So um, tell us a little bit about um, just some of the preparation and time that goes into, I mean, are they practicing hours a day? or? What yes, do do? it's, it's kind of like any other sport. I mean, mm -hmm. they are at the studio six days a week um, for two, three hours a day. So, wow. Yep. And in terms of um, preparing for this event, you had to compete in other competitions prior to now. How did yes. you get to this point? So they are in the top 1% of Irish dancers in the world. Wow. In order, percentage. Wow. <laughs> um, and in order to get there, they have to qualify to go to a regional competition where they place in a um, like the top of their age group. Wow, and their age groups that they're in now, how old are each of you guys? They're in high school. They're in high school, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, and their outfits, I mean, when you talk about the preparation and time, there's also the expense of these beautiful outfits. Yes. <laughs> a lot of work goes into this. Yes. So excited for all of you. Um, one final thing, in terms of building confidence for these young ladies, mm -hmm. I've just heard a lot about the McKing group and yeah. the things that you all do. What does it do for their self-esteem, do you think? Um, well, I think it's really cool that they all come from different schools and they all come together to cheer each other on and they're supportive of each other. So I think that is what helps build their self-confidence. It builds teamwork, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I want to take us out to the break with a little bit of performance from these ladies. Ladies, take it away.